Hello and welcome to the second week of Neil Bakes 2019. This week, it's Biscuit Week, and we're going to be doing one of Paul's recipes. We're going to be baking fig rolls, yeah. Uh, apparently they're a biscuit, uh, I'm not too sure. We're going to be making 12, so a whole packet of fig rolls, with my ingredients here. I have my method as well. And it just looks like a fairly straightforward recipe to do. So, without further ado, like a box. Get set. Bake! So, here are this week's ingredients for Biscuit Week. Okay, first step make the biscuit dough. Sift the flour, salt, and baking powder together into a bowl. Beat the butter and sugar in the stand mixer on medium speed until pale and creamy. Put some sugar in my stand mixer. Okay, let's get my stand mixer. Already proven useful. Second week, second time I've used it. Okay, so butter and sugar in, and we'll cream it together. Okay, be back soon. Okay, that's been mixing in for five minutes. Uh, add the egg and vanilla and beat until combined. With the mix on low on a low speed, add the flour mixture in two or three batches until incorporated. Spread the mixture out onto a sheet of clean film, then wrap and chill for 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, one egg. Timing right so I don't hit the mixer, rotate a bit. There we go, that's all in. Okay, into the fridge for uh, half an hour. Okay, the next step is to make the filling. Dip the figs into a small pan to cover the base. Add the sugar and enough water just to cover just the fruit. Place in the medium here and bring it to the boil, then reduce the heat to a fast simmer and cook for five to eight minutes until the figs are soft and the mixture is thick. Okay, so I just washed up these, it's nice and thick now my figs. Also drawn out my rectangle so that I can measure my dough out when it comes out of the fridge. Okay, the next step is to transfer the mixture to a food processor and blitz to a paste. Add the similar ginger and pulse for a few seconds to combine. Okay, so into this food processor we go. Oh, it's not nice. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, go in. Let's put the mixture out onto a plate to cool, then chill for 10 minutes to firm up. I mean, it doesn't look very appetizing, but hopefully it will be tasty. Okay, so. Just taking my dough out of the fridge and I'm just going to roll it out onto my rectangle that I've drawn.
Get in there. Okay, so split my dough into two strips and now I'm going to roll this up and add it to the dough. Okay, so it says using floured hands, roll this up into two and put it on the pastry. Okay, so I put the uh, fig logs on the pastry, now I just gotta roll them up. So, never rolled them before, never rolled anything before. I've never done a Swiss roll properly, or Swiss roll or anything. So, okay, well, here it goes. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad that side. Lightly water the other side, the one long edge, so it comes together, I guess. And then we'll roll this side up, and then hopefully it'll stick together. Okay, let's move all that. Too bad. Right, let's cut this into six. Ooh, that looks all right. Okay, second log. Moving on to one eighty fan. And there we go. I've just pressed a fork into each of them so you can see just about see some lines in there. And now they're ready for the oven. Okay, these just come out of the oven. They've been in for about 14 minutes. And they're looking pretty good. Just gonna let them cool now and then we'll have a taste. Okay, so here are my 12 fig rolls. Looking very nice. Let's have a taste. We compare them in size, so mine is on the right, this one here, and the packet, the store-bought one is this one. So mine are a lot, like double the size. And hopefully it'll taste really nice. A nice soft dough, let's have a taste. Mm, very nice. So the dough is nice and soft. You can taste the cinnamon and the ginger, and obviously the figs. Oh, got a hit of ginger there. Very nice. Mmm, lovely. And somewhat healthy as well because it's got figs in. Pastry, nice and soft and crumbly. And the, the filling, you get a texture from the figs nice and the spices are the ginger and the cinnamon they're really nice not overly but overpowering just a nice subtle flavor the store ones are a lot more a lot tougher than mine mine are definitely better so all in all biscuit week if you can call it a biscuit 
I don't know. Anyway, biscuit week. Meal dip. Okay, so next week is bread week. And I expect it to be another one of Paul's recipes. Because he's the bread master. Uh, so, until next week. Bye bye.